Hey, Bob. Uh, okay, so let me show you something. So this is a, a survey that uh, I brought in and used in the training class, which you may be familiar with because you've seen it uh, a while back when you were doing the class. So um, this is all uh, field data. And uh, this, what I did was I, um, and this is a survey has to be done in the 3D file. So you need to have a 3D DGN file to bring in your survey. Maybe you know that already. And then I had a geometry that we also created in the Open Roads training class. And I just referenced the, the geometry in uh, to this file. So the geometry is a 2D drawing. Uh, if there's vertical, then it turns into has a 3D model, but um, we'll get too far into that. But anyway, I referenced the 2D uh, model to this drawing. And so this is what this is. This is this green line. I turned off some of the other survey features uh, that were shot along the center line. So what I'm just for so I could see it clear. So this is the alignment <clears throat> um, the geometry. And then these are all just basically survey features. So uh, some of them spots and some of them line work. This is all from survey data. So under the um, the open roads modeling workflow, under geometry, there are some reports. And there is one specific report, point feature station offset elevation report. Uh, I tried to use some of these others, station offset and station base, but it wouldn't let me use the points. So, um, but this one specifically says points, so I'm sure that's what it's built for. So point feature station offset elevation report. And it asks you for the baseline, which is in my case, the center line here. And then it's saying, I, I locate the first offset element. So let me just kind of pick some of these. I'll just pick, uh, you know, this... Uh, this um, guy wire here, um, this box here, it's a catch, uh, whatever that is, um, this one over here. So you should be able to pick these uh, individual points. So if you brought in uh, your borings that way, you should see these here. So you should be able to just basically select them. And then uh, it's the prompt is saying, locate the next one, locate the next one, and reset to complete. I'm going to go ahead and reset. I'm saying I'm complete. And it should give you a report station offset elevation report. Of course, you could bring it, dump this out to, you know, save it, save it as uh, an Excel file. Um, and then you could kind of monkey around with it. But this would give you, uh, this is the alignment that it's based off of. And then it's the station. And then... Uh, whatever the point number is, I had a description on one of those power poles. So these are this was the point number, which was um, on the, the survey data. And so this is the station of it. And you could change the formatting under here. So if the format's not set right, like the... Uh, oh, let's see if stationing is here. Stationing. So you could kind of play around, get the state, get all this, you know, formatting the way you want it. So it would give you the point, station, offset, uh, if you had elevations, and then whatever the code, this was the uh, the code. But there are other reports in here, too, that do. Um, there's one here that does dumps out to an Excel file. There's um, different reports that you could generate here that create, generate the northing and easting of that. So just depending on the style sheet that you choose here, um, get it close to the least, get the data in there that you need, save it out to Excel, and then, you know, take it from there. Hopefully that, uh, that'll do it.